you may have noticed that we ex missed chapter 5 and verse 6. In a sense, what is an accident in a way is fortuitous. We can turn and use it to our own end and advantage. Because Matthew chapter 5 verse 6 in the Norley translation says this, Blessed are those who hunger and thirst after uprightness, for they will get their fill. And when you think about it, to seek after righteousness means that we as people are what? Those that mourn, those that are meek, those that are merciful, those that are pure in heart, and the next beatitude, those that are peacemakers. To hunger and thirst after righteousness involves us in a life and lifestyle that seeks Jesus. This one beatitude is pretty hard to take in any way but a spiritual sense. Now, when we look outside the faith at the people and the cultures around us, what do we see? In the world I am in, I see people who live for self. People who in various ways are seeking out what they desire and long for. In other words, what we see are people united and living out for self, but they do so in diverse sorts of way. One person seeks fulfillment and purpose in sexual conquest. One per person seeks fulfillment and purpose in rising to the top of the real estate market. One person seeks fulfillment and purpose in being a stay-at-home mom. You see, even good and noble pursuits that are done so apart from God cease to be good and noble. You see, it is not whether people hunger and thirst. It is whether they fill themselves what is, with what is good for their souls. One of the great health problems of my day is the misuse and abuse of sugar. Now, I'm not one of those moral crusaders who will say that any sugar in the diet is wrong. What we are talking about is how the intake of sugar has become excessive. Is drinking a soft drink wrong? Is having one of those breakfast cereals whose second, third, fourth, and fifth ingredients is some form of sugar necessarily wrong? Is having a banana split wrong? The answer is, of course, no, with the caveat that you do not make these the centerpiece of your diet. You see, we all get hungry and thirsty. That is not the problem. The problem is whether what we take in is good for us. I key on the sugar, for we are beginning to realize the negative impact of a high sugar diet on health and well-being. You see, all people hunger and thirst. That is not the issue. That is not the problem. The problem is whether we are trying to fill that need with the spiritual equivalent of sugar. Blaise Pascal, the French mathematician and philosopher, his dates are from 1623 to 1662, states, but these are all inadequate because the infinite abyss can only be filled by an infinite and immutable object. That is to say, only by God himself. He only is our true good. And since we have forsaken him, it is a strange thing that there is nothing in nature which has not been serviceable in taking his place. And that's the Project Gutenberg edition. Pascal was a man whose work, the Pensees, is one of the most important and influential Christian books. What Pascal was saying in our words is that apart from the seeking of God, we will not fill ourselves with something that will work, that will satisfy, something that will be healthy and wholesome. In this beatitude, we have for us the definition of what a Christian is. It is not about the type of music we like. It is not about the way we will vote in an election. It is not about what we do on a Sunday morning. The person who is a Christian is not the one who calls himself or himself one. It is a person who hungers and thirsts for God. You see, to be a believer in Jesus is a person whose life is built around the idea, the purpose, the goal of seeking after God. 
It is not that you or I teach a Sunday school class. It is through that we seek God. It is not that you and I go to times of worship in a church. It is rather one of the ways we seek to be filled by him. We spend time in prayer and scripture in private as a means to be indwelt by him. The person who is a Christian is the one who hungers and thirsts for God. And when we do that, he will fill us with his very presence. 